Okay, so today I'm going to be making my delicious bread rolls. For that you need 575 grams of plain flour. You need a teaspoon of salt. You need four teaspoons of sugar. I'm using caster sugar, but you can also use the granulated sugar. You need um, 10 grams of fast action yeast. And that's approximately one and a half of the seven gram sachets. You need two tablespoons of margarine. You need roughly a third of a cup of milk and then make the rest of the mixture up with um, lukewarm water. Like that. Other alternatives you can use, you can, um, I think that are optional are sesame seeds to sprinkle over the bread rolls. Um, you can have some dried mixed fruit that you can put inside the rolls so that you have a fruit roll as well. And you can even use grated cheese if you want to as well. Okay, so the first thing to do is to sift the flour, salt, sugar, and yeast into a large bowl. Okay, so make sure that all the ingredients are well incorporated. And then now it's time to add the margarine. Okay, so rub in the margarine into the flour until it resembles fine breadcrumbs. Um, at this stage, if you actually wanted the bread to be a bit sweeter, instead of adding one tea, sorry, four teaspoons of sugar, um, just add two, roughly two tablespoons of the caster sugar. Okay, so after rubbing in the butter, the flour mixture now resembles some fine breadcrumbs. So the next thing to do is to add the milk and water mixture. To make that, I have a third of a cup of milk. To make sure that it's actually lukewarm, I'm going to add a third of a cup of the cold water. So that makes it up to two thirds. And then I add the rest to make up to one cup of hot water. Yes, yeah, so I'm just adding the hot water to make up to one cup. And that's how you make a lukewarm mixture. If you weren't adding milk, like for, if recipe didn't ask for the milk, then you'd have two thirds cold water and then a third um, hot water. Or basically it's two parts cold to one part hot water. That makes a lukewarm mixture. Okay, so slowly add the lukewarm milk mixture into the dough. I add it gradually and mix it round until it forms a softer dough. This dough is too dry, so I'm just going to add a bit more of the, mix the water mixture to it. Um, this dough is a bit too sticky, so I'm just going to add a bit more flour to it. Okay, so this dough, <clears throat> this dough is actually fine. So what we're going to do now is you have to knead this for at least 10 minutes so the dough becomes um, springy and smooth. When it's really springy, when you dip your hand in it, it should rise up quickly. Um, if you use an electric mixer, you just need to knead it for at least um, 5 minutes with a dough hook. Um, with bread dough, don't worry too much if you've added too much like water mixture to water to it. You can just add flour to rectify that situation. Okay, so the dough is ready now. To test if the dough is ready, you basically put your finger, dip it in the dough, and it should spring back. I don't know whether you saw that. Yeah, it should spring back. Um, if you wanted to add some of the dried fruit mix to it, I would just add it in now. So I'd work it. I would work it into the dough. Okay, so add it like how I've done it here, and mix it in the dough until it's well incorporated in the dough. Okay, so it's mixed into the dough. So what we're going to do now is you have to oil the bowl and then cover it with oil clean film, put it in a warm place and, until it doubles in size. This roughly takes around 20 minutes. Okay, so, so it's just been over 20 minutes. My dough has risen quite nicely. It's approximately double the size that it was before. This is the dough that I put the mixed fruit inside. 
so what we have to do now is what they call knocking down so we're just going to flatten the door i don't know whether you heard the air come out so just knock the door down like that and the door goes almost to the original size so what i'm going to do now is i've got a a, roll, a board here that's been lightly floured place the dough on that board and I'm going to cut it into um, roughly I think around six segments okay so next thing to do is just roll this each segment into like a ball shape if it's easy you may find rolling in it with a rolling pin first and then molding it into a round shape like like so I've rolled it using a rolling pin I'm just going to make it into a ball shape so it's now a ball shape as you can see and I'm going to place it on a baking tray that have been lightly oiled greased do the same with the remaining dough okay so once you've rolled them all into the ball shapes and put them onto the greased baking tray just grease the cover of the just cover it with cling film one side the bottom side greased the side that will touch the bread and put it in a warm place again for until it doubles in size um, and this could take at least half an hour for the dough to rise again and okay so it's been just over half an hour roughly 40 minutes as you can see the dough has risen to twice the size so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a milk wash to glaze the bread and I might going to sprinkle on, on some sesame seeds. So I glaze the mixture, the bread with the milk, um, milk glaze. I'm just going to sprinkle over some sesame seeds. You can use poppy seeds as well. Or if you don't want any sesame seeds or any kind of thing on top, you can just have it plain. Okay, so put the bread into an oven that has been preheated at 200 degrees Celsius which is 400 degrees Fahrenheit or gas max 6 and leave it there for between 15 to 20 minutes until it is golden brown as risen slightly and when you tap it the base it should sound hollow okay so that's the first batch of the bread done you see it's nice and golden on top when you tap it it sounds quite hollow Sometimes what I do is, if the bottom, when I scoop it and the bottom looks a bit um, white, I tend to lift it up and I will now um, bake it on the underside as well. That's if it seems a bit soft at the bottom, but it's not always necessary to do that. So place the bread rolls on a cooling rack and repeat the process with the remaining bread dough. I mean, this bread mixture makes roughly 16 bread rolls. So with this one, what I've done is I've sprinkled over some cheese onto some of the bread rolls as well. So you have a cheesy bread roll. And I put sesame seeds on the other one. So just put it in the oven and it just repeat the same process. Okay, so bread's done. This one here is the one that I put the raisins inside, the mixed fruit. This one I sprinkled some cheese on top, which is a plain one that I put sesame seeds on top. And that's just one that we have not put anything on top. Um, basically, the reason why I add milk to it, milk just makes the um, bread roll actually more moist and it gives a nicer taste. Sometimes I find that bread rolls tend to be a bit um, dry, but the milk makes them more moist. Okay, so that's my delicious bread rolls. Um, like I said, the recipe makes around 16 bread rolls. Hope you enjoy.